Vigital is an AI tools workspace that gives you access to over 20 AI tools for creating and editing all types of images, uh, videos, and 3D models. This deal launched today on AppSumo, and they are a part of Plus Day, which runs from August 11th through the 15th. Now this campaign is reserved for AppSumo Plus members only. So if you spend 100 or more on the store, you do get a total of 19% off your order. But more specifically, Plus members do get exclusive access to Okumba Mail, Elbato, and Engine Mailer. And there are Plus only tiers for another new tool called Grigora. And you also get early access to Fidgetal, Sherlock AI, and Teleport Me, which right now they are the lowest price for AppSumo Plus members, but the prices will increase and become available for non-Plus members after the Plus Day campaign ends on the 15th. Now, Tier 1 is quite limited because they do lock you out of quite a bit of AI models and features. So I do recommend a tier two or three. Personally, I do have tier three, which gives you access to all of the um, AI models, the AI tools, which are 22, and all of the features listed out right here. Now, if you grab Fidgetal during Plus Day, the total cost will actually be 225 instead of the original 279. Now, keep in mind, this actually will be a little higher after uh, Plus Day ends on the 15th. Now, with Tier 2, you can train Flux, which I did right over here. So you can train your own uh, model, so you can upload portraits of yourself, and then you can use the Flux node to create AI images with Laura. So let's try that right now. I'm gonna click on Flux and let's see how well uh, my portrait or my face looks like. Okay, so under uh, settings, under modifiers, you can choose your Laura. So I'm gonna select mine that I just created. And for the prompt, let's click on random and let's see what we, uh, what we can come up with. Concept art of a man. Um, I'm just gonna replace my, replace man with Ken. Masculine D&D &D fantasy. Okay, so let's just keep that prompt as is. You can also add um, a different style as well. So like realism, flat, low angle, so on and so forth. So a lot of great options in terms of creating the exact style of image you want. Now I'm gonna click on generate and let's see uh, what the AI comes up with. Okay, so here we go. So not too bad. So this is my image. And from here, we can feed this to other AIs, okay, to generate other types of images and also other types of videos as well. So you could create these very intricate workflows connecting various AI models to create the exact type of image or video you want. This actually kind of reminds me of an email autoresponder where you tell the tool step by step what you want it to do. So after this first step of generating my image using Flux, I could maybe click on Creative Upscale. Now this option is available for a tier three. So this is how this feature works. So I'm gonna drag this orange point over to this orange point. So this is the second node. You can choose from a variety of settings here. So for the prompt, I'm gonna say walking in the desert. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna click on Generate. All right, so that took a good 10, 15 minutes to complete. So as you could see, the size definitely is much larger than the original one. So this is the upscaled version, and this one is the original one. Personally, I kind of like the original one more. I think to make the upscaled version look better, I would probably choose a different prompt and also update the additional uh, settings here as well, just to see what works best to make the best looking upscaled image. Now to get you started, Fidgetal also offers you a variety of templates. You can generate icons, turn characters uh, 3D, so on and so forth. Now these are the marketing and business related templates you can choose. Now let's do um, logo to mockup. And as you could see, like this workflow gets added in the same project. I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of this and also this. So it's essentially a three-step process. So you upload your logo, and then this logo will be applied 
to this man's um, black uh, sweatshirt, and also it'll be applied uh, to this perfume bottle. Okay, now I'm gonna exit out of these instructions just to make it a little bit more cl clean. So first let's upload a logo. I'm gonna upload the AppSumo logo. Now this is a logo with a white background. So before we run this specific workflow, I want to remove the background. So I'm gonna type in um, background and I'm gonna click on the remove background AI tool. So I'm gonna click and disconnect these nodes here and then move this to the left and put this in between. Connect this node over to the remove background node, then click on generate. Okay, so that took just a minute or so. So it removed the background of this AppSumo logo. And then I'm gonna connect this over to this first node, start images and also to uh, this one right here. Now this workflow is perfect for people who are in e-commerce, who want to sell um, various uh, products with their brand logo on them. So I'm gonna click on regenerate for the black sweatshirt and also for this perfume bottle. Okay, here we go. So we have the AppSumo logo on the back of this man's uh, hoodie. And this perfume bottle looks actually pretty nice, right? So you could see kind of the logo on the glass right over here. So both of these are using Flux Context. You could also use other AI models as well, like GPT image, uh, Gemini image, and so forth. So what you would do here is connect this node over to the GPT image node, copy this prompt and paste it over here. And you could do the same with uh, Gemini image. Okay, so this is GPT image and this is Gemini image. And I personally like how GPT image looks. Um, Flux Context looks pretty nice as well, but I do like how this one is a little bit more zoomed out. Uh, Gemini image just looks okay. Now from here, we could turn any of these images into a video and we will be using a runway. So I'm gonna move this node right here and then connect the GPT image over to this runway node. And then I'm gonna give it a prompt. You could also choose between these various animation types. So let's do the zoom in animation type. You also have a few settings you can select as well. I'm gonna do gen four turbo. Now I do notice how the prompt changes. So I'm going to um, paste the prompt back in again. Camera zooms in, man modeling a sweatshirt, or we could say man modeling the sweatshirt, then click on generate. Okay, so this is the video. So let's have it uh, play for you. So it's a five second video and it's um, it's not too bad, right? You could totally use this uh, for social media or any B-roll that you might want to add for your uh, social media videos. So as you can see, you could do tons of things with Fidgetal. You could create an entire elaborate workflow to create the exact images and videos for your projects, okay? So you could generate images, videos, you can transform images and elements as well. You could enhance, you could upscale images, and you could create prompts, analyze images, generate 3D objects from images, and also additional editing options as well, like the image cropper, uh, you have a viewer for 360 panorama, so on and so forth. So once you've created all of your assets, you could save your project right here, and then you could refer to it at a later time. So depending on which tier you get, you'll get three projects for tier one, five for tier two, and seven projects for tier three. So this is a nice way to organize all of your projects, all of your assets that you create with the various AI models inside Fidgetal.